right, Cal, so I got to ask you, growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Well, I grew up watching the Cincinnati Reds, so I would say, like, obviously King Griffey, uh, Barry Larkin, uh, you know, Jason Lou, guys like that. Okay, so I have this question called Baseball Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. That means one catcher, one outfielder, one infielder, and one pitcher, all time. And it's on the spot. I know it's going to be difficult, but if you had to put a catcher in your Mount Rushmore, who would a catcher on the Mount Rushmore, um, man, I would probably say either Johnny Bench or Yogi Berra. I like that. Okay, infielder? Uh, we'll put, I mean, we got to say Derek Peter, right? Yeah, it's, that's been, yeah. honestly, I've asked this about 200 times. That's been the answer. Derek Peter. Yeah. Outfielder? Ken Griffey. All right, your pitcher. I like that. I like that. So, obviously, you played for a prestigious franchise before in the Cubs. Mm -hmm. You had some success there in winning. That moment, and now being able to come to Philly with this team and see the potential of this team, what do you see in this Phillies team going forward in a tough NL East? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of similarities in the team. Um, we got a great group of guys, a great group of players, on, especially on paper. And, you know, and the character of the team is great. And, I think we're all really starting to get used to each other now. We got a lot of new faces around here, and uh, you know, me being one of them. And I think we're all getting used to each other right now. And you know, like you said, it's a tough NL East. It's probably one of the hardest divisions of baseball. And uh, you know, we just got to be able to keep going one day at a time, like we've been doing, and uh, you know, blocking out all the uh, the other things. I got you, got you. So I'm not sure if you're a gamer, but the first time you saw yourself on a video game, MLB The Show. What did you think? Because, like, probably as a kid, you grew up, you play games, then all of a sudden you see yourself on one. What did you think? It's like, man, they made me fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was cool. You know, I mean, growing up playing video games and things like that, to, to, to see uh, you, know, you finally on a video game, it's kind of a surreal moment, right? Like, you never really expect it. So, it's, it's a cool thing. All right, a few more questions. So let's say if you had a walk-up song and it was named after you and you can have any artist to pick the song, who would you want to do your song? I said Bone Thugs and Harmony. I like that. Yeah. One time for Cleveland, right? Okay, okay. Okay, so your first major league moment when you realized, man, I'm in the majors. When did you realize that? What was your moment? I would say Probably the uh, I, I had my first start and I went four for five and that was a really cool moment for me. So that was cool. All right, I like that. Last question. So obviously in baseball we've seen new different types of athletes coming in, but when you see a guy like a Shohei Otani that can do both, you probably thought that would never happen in our generation. But seeing that, what do you think about that? I think it's very impressive. I think that. Of what the guy's done in his short career so far over here, and you know, seeing like a uh, seeing what he did at the home run derby, where a home run derby, then just pitching in the all star game the next day, things like that. So, um, I, I think it's a it's a obviously it's a really good thing for baseball one, and it's a special talent. And I think a lot of guys have respect for what he's doing, and not not many people, I think anyone, can do that this day and age where. You know, guys are throwing as hard as they are, and guys are, are you know, having to take hitting so serious, or guys are having to take pitching so serious now that it's not like it's a, a, a just like anyone can go out there and be a two-way guy.